U.S. President Donald Trump said Thursday he was thinking of this Russian thing when he decided to fire FBI Director James Comey, who had been leading the investigation into alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Speaking to NBC News, Trump said when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. It's an excuse by the Democrats for having lost an election that they should have won. His statement undercuts those made by other administration officials, including Vice President Mike Pence and senior adviser Kellyanne Conway, who both said the decision to fire Cummy was based on the recommendation of the Deputy Attorney General and Attorney General. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein's reasoning for Cummings' dismissal focused on his handling of the investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server, namely his decision to recommend no charges be filed and the news conference he held to explain his rationale. Cummings' firing sent shockwaves through Washington, with some critics of Trump raising parallels to Watergate era firings and suggesting Cummings was getting too close to the White House with the Russia probe. That claim has been dismissed by administration officials and though, in the same interview, Trump said he had no intention of trying to stop or hinder the FBI's Russia probe, his comments have given fresh ammunition to his critics. The probe, Trump said, needs to be absolutely done properly. I want that to be so strong and so good, he said. I want to get to the bottom. If Russia hacked, if Russia did anything having to do with our election. I want to know about it. The president has long insisted the investigation will not discover any wrongdoing. In a letter to Cummy announcing his firing Tuesday, Trump said the FBI director had reassured him several times he was not under investigation as part of the Russia probe. Trump wrote, I greatly appreciate you informing me, on three separate occasions, that I am not under investigation. I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. It is essential that we find new leadership for the FBI that restores public trust and confidence in its vital law enforcement issue. Acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe on Thursday rejected Trump's claims Cummy had lost confidence within the Bureau. Speaking to lawmakers, McCabe said Cummy had broad support within the FBI and still does to this day. U.S. officials, including prominent GOP lawmakers such as Senator John McCain, have said they were troubled by Trump's abrupt firing of Cummy during the Russia probe. Adam Siff, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee told CNN, I think that the firing was all about the Russia investigation. He fired the top cop on that investigation, and I think no one believes this was about Hillary Clinton's emails, I think it was all about the Russia case, he added. Many Democratic lawmakers are calling for the appointment of a special prosecutor to take Cummings' place in leading the investigation. However, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said too much is at stake to halt an investigation already in progress. He said from the Senate floor Wednesday. A new investigation would only serve to impede the current work being done to not only discover what the Russians may have done but also to let this body and the national security community develop countermeasures. Donald Trump has said he was thinking of this Russia thing when he decided James Cummings fate, contradicting the White House rationale that he fired the FBI director for mishandling the Clinton email investigation. Kami had been leading an investigation into possible collusion between Trump advisers and Russian officials when he was dismissed by the president. Defending that decision in an interview on NBC News on Thursday, Trump said, and, in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story, it's an excuse by the Democrats for having lost an election that they should have won. Trump also said there were three occasions on which Cummy assured him he was not under investigation. The president said he called the director of the FBI to ask for an update on a possible criminal investigation into his ties with Russia. In the NBC interview, Trump also flatly contradicted his own vice president and spokesman by saying he decided to fire James Cummy before receiving a recommendation from the deputy attorney general.
Trump recalled three conversations with Comey about the FBI investigation into Russian interference in last year's presidential election. First, he said, there was a dinner which was also about Comey's future, raising the prospect that Trump could threaten his job. He wanted to stay on at the FBI, Trump said, and I said I'll, you know, consider and see what happens, but we had a very nice dinner, and at that time he told me, you are not under investigation. Then there were two phone calls, one made by Trump, another by Cummy. The president admitted, I actually asked him, yes. I said, if it's possible would you let me know, am I under investigation? He said, you are not under investigation. www.thegadian.com web link. The revelations are likely to trigger a fresh storm of criticism. Perceptions that Trump fired Cummy because of the Russian investigation have been central to the controversy surrounding the dismissal. Meanwhile, Trump asking whether he was under investigation would not be illegal, but highly irregular. On Thursday, Trump's words earned immediate comparisons with then Attorney General Loretta Lynch's controversial meeting with Bill Clinton last June. During the investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while Secretary of State, Matthew Miller, a former spokesman for the Department of Justice, told MSNBC, it's completely inappropriate for Trump to ask that question, it would also be a violation of DOJ rules for James Cummey to answer it. Asked at Thursday's White House press briefing if it was inappropriate for Trump to have asked Cummey if he was under investigation, Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said, no, I don't believe it is. She added, I don't see it as a conflict of interest and neither do many of the legal scholars who've been commenting on it over the last hour. Sanders did not identify which legal scholars that she was referring to. When the president fired Cummy on Tuesday, the White House released a memo from Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein that criticized Cummy for mishandling last year's investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. Press Secretary Sean Spicer claimed it was this memo that prompted Trump to remove Cummy, a position backed by Vice President Mike Pence on Wednesday. Pence said in an interview with CNN that Trump had made a decision to accept the recommendation of the Deputy Attorney General and the Attorney General to remove Director Cummy. But in the NBC interview, Trump said of Cummy, he's a showboat, he's a grandstander, the FBI has been in turmoil. You know that. I know that. Everybody knows that. You take a look at the FBI a year ago, it was in virtual turmoil, less than a year ago. It hasn't recovered from that. He explained, I was going to fire Cummy. My decision. I was going to fire Cummy. There's no good time to do it, by the way. I was going to fire regardless of recommendation. The revelation came amid a flurry of reports suggesting that Trump had grown increasingly irate with Cummy in recent weeks because of his high profile, his failure to stop leaks, his pursuit of the Russia investigation and his lack of support for the president's claim that he was wiretapped by Barack Obama. In the end, he fired Cummy late on Tuesday afternoon, a move that seemed to take many White House staff by surprise. The official reason given was the FBI director's mishandling of the investigation into Clinton's emails. The acting head of the FBI, meanwhile, said on Thursday that Cummy enjoyed broad support among its staff, directly contradicting the White House assertion that he had lost the confidence of the FBI rank and file. Confronted at a Senate Intelligence Committee hearing with the claim of Cummy's unpopularity, Andrew McCabe said, that is not accurate. I can tell you I worked very, very closely, with Cummy, from the time we started at the Washington field office, he said. I hold Director Cummy in the highest regard for his considerable abilities and his integrity. It is the greatest honor of my professional life to have worked with him. He enjoyed broad support in the FBI and he still does to this day. The vast majority of FBI staff enjoyed a deep and positive connection to Director Cummy. In contrast, Sanders told reporters on Thursday that she had been in contact with countless FBI agents via text and email who expressed their support for the decision. 
she did not identify them or explain why a White House press staffer would be in contact with FBI agents. Earlier on Thursday, Sanders told CBS News Trump was very likely to visit FBI headquarters in the next few days. But later the MSNBC network reported that the visit would not be happening after agency officials told the White House that Trump would not be greeted warmly.